Back in the Hooper Eblen Center on the Golden Eagle Sports Network. Dylan Vazano here. Eastern Kentucky leading at 57-49 with 11:46. Started talking about EKU just before this under-12 media timeout. Most notably this season went into Miami beat the number 18th team in the nation, the Hurricanes. Not only did they beat them, they went 72-44. to 44, 14 of 26 from three-point range. Miami, no slouch either. I mean, they just beat Duke at Duke not that long ago. Went 20 to 2 points off turnovers against the Hurricanes. Definitely turned a lot of heads. Here's McKay. He gets another one. 57-52. McKay with eight points. Mentioned two of his five double-digit scoring last year came against Eastern Kentucky. Already with eight, and Javon McKay has not gone over double figures once this year. Something about McKay and EKU. Shot clock is now at eight. McGlone. He will put the ball on the deck. Back outside from a different area code. Clank off the rim. The rebound goes to McKay. Chance to cut it to a one possession tilt. 57-52 the count. Row on the drive. Jackson gets it. Jackson scores it. So it is a one possession tilt. 57-54. Jackson, he's up over double figures, 13 points, 7 rebounds. Death, taxes, and Charles Jackson in double figures. You can count on that, 19 of 21 times this year, as Richardson's called for the offensive foul. So Tech will get it. Down by three. Speaking of threes, Eastern Kentucky 12 of 24 tonight. So close to that 14-26 clip we just talked about against Miami. Tech 6 of 14. 18 threes. We're just about three quarters finished tonight. Golden Eagles have trailed by as many as 13. That was late in the first. Began the second on a 9-0 run. Have been down by as many, or as close as two, I should say. McKay, double figures. First time this season, Javon McKay has scored in double figures. It is the closest Tennessee Tech has been tonight. Fans getting into it. Starting to get as loud as we had in the second overtime of the women's game. What a doubleheader this has been. As Caldwell is called for the foul. Knocks into Corey Walden. It's number two on Caldwell. Tech's fourth team foul. EKU has five team fouls. So now three Golden Eagles in double figures. Javon McKay. So that's now six times in the last two years double figures. Three of them have been Eastern Kentucky. Walden. He gets the catch. Misses close. Tech basketball. Chance to take the lead for the first time in quite a while. Got to go back to the first two minutes of this game. Not any more. Torrance Rowe. 59-57. The Golden Eagles lead. Their seventh three-pointer of the game. What a comeback. Nip. It's now Powell. Pump fake. More doesn't bite. Stutz. In the lane, the contact, and a foul against Caldwell. So the Los Angeles native picks up a quick two. He now has three. It's Tech's fifth team foul. 
And that will send Stutz to the line. 82% free throw shooter. Spins out the first one. Well, Caldwell didn't agree with it. See a little bit of contact on the way up. Might have been able to get a travel there. Two misses. Here's Rowe. And two more from Javon McKay. Loudest this building has been tonight. Defensive chance raining down. Tech by four. Stutz. What an atmosphere this has turned into. Walden underneath and a foul. Offensive foul. Wow. This place is up for grabs right now. We got 7.38 to go. We're going to step away. Tennessee Tech leads by four on the Golden Eagle Sports Network. Tech has come all the way back. A big reason why. Number five for the Golden Eagles. Javon McKay. He's got a season high 12. Two of his three pointers. Do it from a little bit closer as well. He has the hot hand of late. Six times in the last two years. The Atlanta native has gone double figures. Three of those against Eastern Kentucky.